Welcome to Option Trades today. I'm Tony the Bat Batista, and it's December 6th. Can you believe it? The end of the year is near, and I've got not one, but two trade ideas for you today. Let's take a look at what those are. First, we should take a look at what the market is doing. Surprising me, even the S&Ps, that's the S&P 500, that's the 500 most capitalized stocks, down 42 points, down, as you can see, just about 1% today. I actually thought we were going to catch a little bit of a bid in the market today because volatility, forward slash VX is what I look at, and volatility today, early this morning, um, was contracting. Usually if volatility is contracting and the market was unchanged, maybe it catches a little bit of a bid with bonds being stronger all day. Also, they were up 20 ticks, but the market has fooled me today as it does so often um, and has sold off a little bit or goes the opposite of the direction. I think it's going to do that today. I thought it was going to be bullish. For that reason, I've got one bullish trade for you and one neutral trade for you. Let's take a look at what those are. First, what I like to do is go to my watch list. I already have it set to high option volume. Um, I just think it's a good list of stocks that have, well, I'm going to look to trade options. So that's, th that's the list I should have. That's the list you should have too. If a stock has a lot of volume trading in the options, not just on one line, but on all the lines, that there's a lot of volume there. It's liquid. If it's liquid, it's going to allow me to get in at a fair price and just, or even more importantly, get out at a fair price. Because you know, it's very easy to get into trades. It's very hard to get out of trades. You can hear that viewer from today who called in. He was trading some uh, illiquid stocks, and it's very hard for him to get out of them. What I like to do here is I like to look at the five-day index change. I like to see that green on the stocks that I'm trading, and I also like to have a high IV rank, so I'm just clicking on them uh, to put them uh, in chronological order from high to low. All of these trades I do and everything that I do here um, on Tasty Trade is on our follow page. So if you want to kind of take a look at um, any of the trades and adjustments I do, all you have to do is go down here and click on follow. You can see everybody. There's Tom, uh, there's Liz and Jenny, Tony from Mexico, and the rest of the crew. If you want to go just to mine, I am Bob uh, the trader. It does say IRA account. You can do all the trades that I do in any type account. Here's my last shop trade. Here's my Amazon trade, my Tesla. Here's the original shop trade with the rolls in it. And if you click on them, you can see a little bit of a description. I'm rolling down the untested side and you can see the stock price when I was doing it and everything else like that. Um, or the new trades are going to be, um, you'll, you won't see a, a, a roll. You'll see closed for a trade that I did in Tesla. Here's a trade uh, in Tesla that says uh, sometimes you get it right while collapsing uh, from 28 to 12 today. This is from my podcast on 1129 and you take a quick uh, 90 cent profit in two and a half days. So if you want to check out these trades and all the adjustments I do, they will always be here on the follow page. So check out Tastyworks and do that for me. All right. So what am I taking a look at today? Well, the first one, let's go to uh, back to our list here for a quick second. Um, the first one, just to save some time without going through the whole thing, is going to be CRM. Now, first I'd like to just show you a graph or a chart of what's gone on, going on with CRM. You can see here, CRM has been taking a nosedive. CEO after CEO has left from Slack and, C and, and the parent company itself. I don't know what more bad news you could pull out of here. After, there's a post-earnings trade. So it's already had earnings post earnings trade, volatility still hanging in there. You can see here over the last couple of days, actually expanding after earnings, usually odd. What happens means the stock's in turmoil. This stock is in turmoil. Um, let's go back to that uh, list if we could. If I take a look at CRM, it'll be highlighted here. The IVX five-day change, that's the volatility of CRM itself, not of the market or anything else. The, vol the volatility of CRM itself is up almost 1.5%. The IV rank is 38. I like to see an IV rank in this type of market environment. You know, over 25, over 30, over 50 would be great. It's hard to find stocks with an IVR rank over 50 that I don't already have positions in. CRM, I have no position. And you can guess, by the way the stock has been behaving, it's been going nothing but straight down, I'm going to take a contrarian view, and I'm going to be omnidirectional, slightly bullish. I'm going to go into January with 45 days. 45 days is optimal 
for opening positions, at least from our research that we found at Tasty Trade. So I'm going to open up those Jan options. You want to put trades on with around 45 days. You hope to take them off within or before this January uh, expiration has 21 days left. You can see here there's good option volume. I'm going to change this from volume uh, to percentage in the money. It's very similar uh, to Delta, but I just wanted to show you the difference um, of those two. What am I looking to do? I'd like to go to a round one standard deviation. That's my modus operandi. You know what? I want the stock to beat me. Now, here's a stock that's gotten beaten up. It's down a few a few dozen points um, uh, over the last uh, week or so. It's traded all the way up to almost 160 um, just before the end of November. It's down at 130 and change right now. So what am I going to look to do? I'm going to go even further out of the money. You could go closer to the money. I'm just a Johnny. So I'm looking to buy the option that has, you know, around a 15-ish delta. This one has 20. I'm buying the 22 delta option one time and I'm selling two of the 115 puts. I'm buying the 120 puts. I'm selling two of the 115 puts. Um, this has a positive theta of four and a half. It has a positive delta uh, uh, in CRM of almost 10, nine and a half, and beta weighted delta to the S&P. That's this number right here, the E-mini S&Ps or SPY. Um, it has about three and a half shares. Delta is shares. Three and a half delta equivalent to SPY. 89% pop. This green line that you see here shows me where my profit range is. Obviously, it can go up into perpetuity. I have no risk to the upside. Matter of fact, I will make that dollar that I sold this for. Markets are good, not great in here, but there's a lot of volume. And by good, not great, I mean the markets could be about 10, 15 cents wide. I'd love to see them inside 10 cents wide, but I'll take what I can get. I bought the 120 puts one time, sold two of the 115 puts. I did it for a whole dollar. This trade uses $1,243 um, in buying power and has an 89% pop. That's my first trade in CRM. Omnidirectional, slightly bullish. What's the most you could make on this trade? Well, if the stock were to close in the next 45 days at 115, you would be long the 120, 115 put spread. That's a $5 wide put spread. You'd be long it for a dollar credit. So you'd make $600 on your $1,250 worth of risk. Now that's unreasonable, right? I mean, we're not going to make full profit on any trade because I already told you we're going to close this trade or look to close, adjust, or roll when January has 21 days till expiration. More importantly, because... Uh, you know, I have to pay for my, my losses and my whole family helps me spend all my profits. Where's your break even on this trade? Your break even on this trade is 110 minus the credit you received, 109. So the stock can go all the way down to 109 at expiration and you still break even. What's reasonable to, to expect to make on this trade? Well, I want the stock to go straight up and I make my full buck on this trade or maybe slightly less if it goes up very quickly. Now, this stock had been down almost two and a half dollars earlier today. So maybe if you think the market's going to have a little bit more weakness, you wait on it. I put it on right here at a dollar. All right, my next trade for you. Um, well, I talked about Coinbase a little bit today when Victor Jones was on the show. He's like, if you had one stock to trade, what would you trade um, if you had $100 and you wanted to get some sort of like a uh, big bang for your buck? I said coin. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to revise what I said a little bit when Victor uh, was on the show with me, and I'm going to do a delta neutral trade, not a bullish trade in coin, and I will tell you why. Um, Ivy rank is pretty good in here. I'm going to show you a different way to look at it. It's right after the symbol for coin. It's 30 39.9. Stock's down $2.83. This is another stock that's gotten banged up, uh, but I'm not going straight bullish on it. Uh, actually, in um, CRM, I think it's a uh, obviously a more delta um, uh, sensitive trade than the one I'm going to show you in coin. Let me explain why. First, let's go back to our list here and take a look at what coin has been doing and what the uh, last what it's been doing over the last five days. Oops, probably up here. I'm so sorry. Coin, there we go. Um, over the last five days, uh, the IVX five-day change up more than CRM at 2.3%. 
uh, even with the stock going lower, volatility expanding in both of these stocks, a little unusual for equities to have volatility expanding on the downside. And that's what we're trying to take advantage of. Um, IV rank is good at 39.8. Um, the stock is down uh, a little over $2, uh, right around $2.65. What am I going to do in here? I'm going to go to January again, 45 days, uh, plenty of uh, liquidity in here. Markets are a little bit better um, or equal to CRM, but this is a $43 stock. You would think it's going to use less buying power, but you know what? This stock is fully margined here. You don't get any margin relief in coin. So what am I doing? I told you I like to go around the 15 delta options. You certainly could go down to the 30 puts, which have a 14 delta, and you could go up to, let's just say, the 65 calls, which have a, um, a, a, a 17 delta. You collect $2.85. I'm going to go a little bit tighter in here. I'm going to go all the way down to the 55 calls and up to the 35 puts, and I'm going to collect a big $5.40. This is where I sold this spread. This spread has a 60% pop. This is much more of a um, volatility contraction play, hoping that volatility will contract more than, say, a high pop trade. If I was going for more of a high pop trade, I'd probably opt for the smaller credit and go to like the 30, 60 and have a 69% pop. I like to be outside of a standard deviation, 68%. Today, today I'm taking a little bit of a premium. I want to put premium to work here. I want to get bang for my buck. I got $540 on the $1,300 uh, in buying power that I'm using here with a 60% uh, percent pop. It's actually short eight deltas. Now look at this. This is, this is kind of unique. I'm selling the 35 puts, which are about $8 um, out of the money. And that's uh, taking a little bit of liberty uh, with the math. I'm selling the 55 calls that are $11 out of the money, a little bit more uh, than $11. And my call is further away than my put, and yet the delta on the call is higher than the delta on the put. That's called call skew, very typical for equities, especially with equi equities where the velocity is perceived to the upside. $5.40 on here. I'm looking to make the same buck like I was in the CRM trade, maybe a little bit more if the stock just goes sideways for the next couple of days. All right, listen, those are my two trades. I hope you enjoyed them. If nothing else, I hope you learned or, or got a little bit of insight on how I look for trades and find them. And you know what? There's no better place to find them than the Tastyworks platform. So please do us a favor. Help us uh, keep the, the lights on. Help us keep the programming going. And more importantly, Help us have a happy Christmas by opening up a Tastyworks account today and taking advantage of all of those perks that we have at Tasty Trade for you opening up an account. Until next time, which will be Thursday, Tony Batista from Tasty Trade, live.